We were all teenagers not too long ago. And while there's something very nice about home-cooked meals and free rent, for many of us, adulthood and the sense of freedom that it brought was a welcome addition to our lives. For me personally growing up, I hated being told what to do. Psychologists might say I was suffering from induced compliance, the theory that states people resist change when they're being told what to do. But what's this got to do with green energy? Well, enter wind turbines and my research. You see, ever since 2009 in Ontario, the ability for a community and the, and the uh, citizens within it to say no to wind energy development has been stripped. In Nova Scotia, not only are communities able to determine if turbines are built, but they are often the ones building them themselves. In Barrington, Nova Scotia, for example, you could invest as little as $1.30 into a wind project, or the amount of change under your couch. Not surprisingly, other jurisdictions that have implemented similar strategies have seen outstanding results. Germany, Spain, and Denmark have all seen their wind energy portfolios expand as a result of these community-based initiatives. In Ontario, where the top-down approach has become the norm, we've seen an explosion of oppositional activities and claims of health effects. More than 50 community groups have formed alongside 87 municipalities, declaring themselves unwilling hosts. So let's just uphold our democratic principles and let mayors decide where turbines go? Not quite. You see, the ability to make important decisions is only a good thing when people are informed about them. My research, which is comprised of both qualitative interviews and multivariate quantitative analysis, will create what we call toolkits for turbine communities, merging social scientific research with real world application. But what exactly should go into these toolkits? Well, when I asked that same question to a lady we'll call Caroline this past summer, she responded, that'd be like asking what I'd prefer in a race car. People like her want to know what they need to know. Wind energy technology is simply too new for local residents and councils alike to understand all the complex environmental and social impacts. Thus, much of my focus going forward will be about presenting the basic mechanisms behind wind energy alongside emerging themes important to wind energy policymakers, including the promise of community-based development. In allowing communities to say no or yes to wind energy development, we can let them move out of their parents' basements, take charge of their lives, and control their green energy futures. Thank you.